So this is a review of the radon tests from Home Depot and I'll link to it below. It's basically two carbon canisters that you get and open up and put them on your lowest point in your house's floor. In my case that was the basement. When you open up the box you get two of these canisters. They're both in metal cases with a lid on it and it's actually taped when you get it. Uh, probably to preserve the, the accuracy of the test. But to go back a step here, I thought I was okay with radon because when I bought the house we live in, uh, it had what would the builder called a passive radon pipe from the basement to the attic. There's nothing pushing air through it. And I was naive enough to take that hook, line, and sinker. So in the box, when you open it, yeah, you can see the AccuStar instructions and the two canisters are there. They give you some instructions on how to install the test where the best placement is in the lowest point of your house and away from windows. There's a lot of details and I'll link to that below. Basically when you take the canisters out, the lids are taped shut and you just untape the lids, turn them over, put them on the bottom of the canister and tape them back on. And that way nothing gets in the lid to contaminate the test when it's closed. And then you set them down on your floor. I set them pretty far apart, but the radon remediation expert I've spoken with since told me to really put them near each other, like within a couple here. feet. Um, he thought that way he could tell if one was bad. But both of mine, I'll show you how they turned out at the end. When you start the test, you should note the, the kit that you got has two numbers, one on each lid and the date and time you started it and based on the color of the tape you can go to the website and they will tell you how many hours you should have it out minimum and how many hours maximum. Mine was at the time of this recording black tape so it was 48 hours minimum 96 hours maximum that it should be open and testing on the floor. So if you go to their website you can basically register you create an account and you tell them the numbers on each of the two canisters Basically, that's your, your way of identifying the device number and the kit number. And they'll ask for other details, obviously, like your address, the temperature, is a mitigation system installed, and when did the test start, and eventually, when did the test stop. So, I had started mine on Saturday morning, and on Wednesday morning, just shy of 96 hours, I went down and took the lids removed the tape from the bottom of each canister, took the lids and put them back on top tight, and then taped those lids back on on the top of each canister so that they were sealed again. That's the lid. And put the lid right on it. Once that was done, I put them back in the prepaid postage box that came with the kit. It was already addressed to the lab and basically Masters. sealed it up. Now, again, I had the black tape test, so mine said it had to be back within seven days of ending the test. So I dropped it at the post office right away and was lucky enough to have it be en route and arrive within two business days. So that wasn't too bad at all. I was worried if it went past the weekend or if it got lost or something, but it actually did pretty good. By Friday it was received and by Friday evening I had an email from the lab which outlined in the areas tested I had the results of 4.7 and 5.0 and basically what they're saying is that anything above 4.0 they recommend you do something to reduce the levels of, of uh, radon that could be in your livable area and they have additional recommendations if you have well water. So again, my two test values were 4.7 and 5.0, so I knew it was time to call a remediation specialist. When I got the email from the lab that I had registered with here, there was a nice link at the bottom to find actually certified radon professionals. So rather than going to Yelp or Yellow Pages, uh, I was able to find somebody who was, uh, who was maintaining their certification as a radon professional. So that's my story with the radon test. It was well worth the money and I'm glad I did it.
I'm not glad that I have radon, but hopefully I'll get that remediated soon and I'll be able to report back on that. Thanks again for watching and thanks as always for commenting most of all.